Oh yeah, so you set the, the brake lights up. Yeah, so you can Offside brake light is out. A hundred percent. I didn't throw out the window. So you did because it came out your hand and it went to my no. screen. No, so I didn't. That's did why it. I'm stopping that. Have you got your driving license? With yeah, you? yeah, yeah. A hundred percent. I didn't um, throw the wrap out the, the window. Are you aware about the um, brake light? Ah, oh, you're saying my government name on the camera now, it's fine, yeah, Jelani, yeah, yeah. Just don't, don't read out the address, yeah? Same government name. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, 100%, look, <laughs> if I reach in my back pocket, yeah, you will find that I've got a wrapper in my back pocket. Yeah. That's a bit of paper. <laughs> I didn't throw out the window. Well, I'm not saying that's the wrapper, I was saying you stuck your hand out and then a wrapper hit us in the face and you were eating that. No, 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 I was um, indicating. we stopped you. No, 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 I was an indication. But anyway. Are you on insurance? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's yours. Yeah. So I've got trade insurance. Yeah. So I started buying and selling cars. Is this good at the minute? Nope. No? <laughs> no, not because of the coronavirus. I think I just bought the wrong cars to be fair. So what do you need? Then buy them? Turn on? Yeah. Yeah. I bought two cars. I ain't even managed to sell them. Two cars? Yeah. That's how you handle the police, man, when you get stopped and searched. Yeah. None of this red hair, foolishness and nothing. None, none, none of this foolish, immature. Like, if you're a road man, you're a road man, innit? I get it, yeah. But there's a way to conduct yourself, yeah, when you're, when you're dealing with the police and that. One thing as well, remember, the police... They need to have the utmost authority on the street. They need to be seen to be running the street. They can't have people disrespecting them. They can't have people trying to step to them. I actually made a video about this last night as well. They need to have the utmost respect from everyone around. They are in power. So if you want to play the game with the police, give them the power, give them what they want. Don't try and pretend, or don't try and make them feel like they're inferior to you. Yeah. You can't play the fucking game, man. It's so simple. An interaction like that, 
that could have turned ugly. I could have been arguing with them. Look, they stopped me. Fair enough, they did have a good reason to stop me. My, my brake light was out. But they stopped me because apparently when I stuck my hand out the window, the wrapper, that, because I was eating a, because what happened was I was eating a sweet and they pulled up beside me and I was smiling. Anyway. I didn't really look them in the eyes or nothing like that. But they pulled up beside me and I was eating a sweet. You know them little, any lot watch me in the live streams, I like to eat them, them little foolish uh, uh, sour strip things anyway. Eating that and obviously you're not supposed to really be eating or have anything in your hand whilst you're driving. And I, I stuck my hand out to indicate, right? And, and he said apparently the, the rapper hit his, his windshield or whatever he said. I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't remember throwing a rapper out the window. I know I wouldn't do something dumb like that, but it don't matter. It don't matter, it don't matter. It don't matter. Yeah, maybe they were using it as an excuse to stop me. But you know what? There's a lot of men from London that come up to Northampton and they trap it. So, yeah, they see me looking a certain way. They probably confuse me with one of them, man. But I tell you what, next time the police see me, obviously, so long as my brake light's not out or nothing like that, they'll remember this car, they'll remember me. They won't, those particular police officers, they won't stop me. They will not stop me. But if I gave them trouble, if I gave them lip, if they had the impression that I was a road man, up to no good, the next time they see me, they're gonna pull me again, hoping to catch me with something. But they've had a good positive interaction with me. So long as I don't throw another rapper out their car, so long as I, my brake light's not working or whatever, they won't, they, they will see me, they won't see me. Put it that way, they won't see me. They'll remember the car, they'll be like, oh yeah, remember that, yeah. So that's how you fucking interact with the police. If you're, not even if, I was about to say if you're a black person, if you're a fucking human being with a brain, that's how you, that's how you interact with the police. So I call this aggressive business. as well because the, the chicks out here they're just as bad as a man I've been in situations where I've been stopping and searched outside a man's yard and someone else has been stopping and searched as well and a girl's older si um, a guy's older sister's just acting mad like acting really aggressive and that and I'm thinking to myself like what's going on for this girl I don't even really know the girl but I've seen her around and she's, she's, she seems like she's humble and even the police have pointed out my behavior and said why have you what why, 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 why are you not acting like him he's cool he's been stopped and searched he's free to go obviously he's hanging around the car he was here in the first place but he's free to go he's being cool calm and collected why are you not conducting yourself like that and you as well because you're the older sister why are you going off on why we're not even stop searching you and certain people they just want to cause trouble with the police for no reason immature foolish behavior you're a coward because you know really and truly this ain't gonna go nowhere and i know certain people say me as a coward because the police will conduct themselves and deal with people a certain way and certain people's managers are disrespectful certain people's managers will talk over them certain people's managers will talk to them in a patronizing way but they don't respond to that so hold on a minute you got time to run your mouth to the police, act aggressive, talk over the police, whatever, but you won't do the same to your manager at work. Why? Ah, oh, because you know there's consequences and repercussions. You know, with the police, you could just walk away from that situation. So long as they ain't got no grounds to arrest you, you can walk away from that situation. But with your manager, you can't walk away from that situation. They hold your job to ransom. So these people know what they're doing, isn't it? They know who to hype up to. They know who to run their mouth to, and it's cowardly. It's like, it's almost like a little sibling running their mouth to their older sibling. You got a lot of younger siblings that run their mouth to their older siblings in that, but their classmates, who are the same age as them, they won't give them no back chat to because they know, oh, that fat overweight bully over there will bust my ass if I run my mouth. But my my older brother. He, he'll take it easy on me because he's 10 years senior. But that boy over there, that's in my class, that's probably even a few months younger than me, he'll bust my ass. He won't, he won't take no time. So that's why I don't run my mouth. That mentality there, you're a fucking coward if you, if you think 
like that. You act like that. So anyway, man, I'm glad I caught that on camera because I've been waiting for the opportunity. But that's how you conduct yourself with the police. Whether you are black man, white man, Chinese, or people. It's so simple. Be compliant. Don't give them no lip, nothing like that. How long? Put it this way. I started recording about 30 seconds into the stop. I didn't want to take out my phone straight away because then they might say you're on your phone. So I started, so they came up to me and said, do you mind if I record this? They said, yeah, boom. So I'm recording it now. How long did that interaction take? Two, three minutes. Next man would have been there for 10 minutes, rolling on the floor with the police and that. Come on, man. Come on, man. You think I've got time to be rolling around with the police? Bro, look at the watch, look at the fucking jacket. Come on, man. JYS TV, stay away.